Alleluia, Christ is risen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ saith. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and the great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets.
Gloria in excelsis Deo. The Lord be with you. And with thy Let us pray. O 
Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal mystery hast established the new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, one God, forever and ever. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Peter saw the people running together to him and to John, he addressed them, saying, Men of Israel, the God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, glorified his servant Jesus, whom you delivered up and denied in the presence of Pilate when he had decided to release him. But you denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked for a murderer to be granted to you and killed the author of life, whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses. And now, brethren, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did also your rulers. But what God foretold by the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ should suffer he thus fulfilled. Repent, therefore, and turn again, that your sins may be blotted out, 
that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, and that he may send the Christ appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the time for establishing all that God spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. Moses said, The Lord God will raise up for you a prophet from your brethren, as he raised me up. You shall listen to him in whatever he tells you. And it shall be that every soul that does not listen to that prophet shall be destroyed from the people. And all the prophets who have spoken, from Samuel and those who came afterwards, also proclaimed these days, You are the sons of the prophets and of the covenant which God gave to your fathers, saying to Abraham, and in your posterity shall all the families of the earth be blessed. God, having raised up his servant, sent him to you first to bless you, in turning every one of you from your wickedness. The word of the Lord. Sit in cordi mio et in labis mei, sit princiandum sanctum evangelium pacis, per dominum nostrum is in Christum. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. On the evening of the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, 
and place my finger in the mark of the nails and place my hand in his side, I will not believe. Eight days later, his disciples were again in the house and Thomas was with them. The doors were shut, but Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands and put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not be faithless, but believing. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not recorded in this book, but these are written, that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. The third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for the church and for the world.
hear our prayer. 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 O God, who for our redemption didst give thine only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection hast delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his resurrection. Through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us, we do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. The burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life to the honor and glory of thy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and bring you unto everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord.
Adeosit benedictus de quies latre exivit sanguis et aqua nomine patris et filii et spiritus sancti. Amen. Sucipe sancta trinitas hanc oblationem, quamigo indignus peccator ferro in honore tuo beati Maria et omnium sanctorum tuorum, pro peccati se defensionibus meis et pro salute viborum et requie omnium fidelium defunctorum. Nomine patris et filii et spiritus sancti, acceptam sit omnipotenti dei hoc sacrificium novum. Christum filium tuum. Amen. In spiritu humiditatis et in animo contrito suspiciam adominiate, et sic fiat sacrificium nostrum in conspicu tuit, et te suspiciam rehodi et placiab et tibi. Dominus Deus meus, et me patris et filii et spiritus sancti. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable unto the Lord our God. The Lord be with you. And with thy Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, but chiefly are we bound to praise Thee for the glorious resurrection of Thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For He is the very Paschal Lamb who was sacrificed for us and hath taken away the sin of the world, who by his death hath destroyed death, and by his rising to life again hath won for us everlasting life. Therefore, with angels and archangels, 
and with all the company of heaven. We laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, All glory be to Thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, for that Thou of Thy tender mercy didst give Thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by His one oblation of Himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that, his precious death and sacrifice, until his coming again. For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he brake it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we thy humble servants do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty with these thy holy gifts which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make. Having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness vouchsafe to bless and sanctify 
with thy word and Holy Spirit, these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, that we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee that we and all others who shall be partakers of this Holy Communion, may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body in him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this, our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. And now, as our Saviour Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Da propitius pacem in diebus nostri, suta pe misericordiae tu et duti, et apicato sima semper liberi, et ab omni perturbatione succuri periundum Christum dominum nostrum filium tuum, qui tecum vivit et reniat in unitate spiritu sancti deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. Sacrosancta, commixto corporis et sanguis domini nostri Jesu Christi fiat mihi, omnibus quae cementibus salius mentis et corporis et ad vitam eternum promorandum et capricandum preparatio salutaris periendum Christum dominum nostrum. Amen. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that taketh away the sins of the world.
body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, bless, preserve, and keep thee this day and evermore. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee.
Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank Thee for that Thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of Thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of Thy favor and goodness towards us and that we are very members in corporate in the mystical body of thy Son, the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Please be seated. A very warm welcome to each and every one of you to St. Ignatius of Antioch today. Whether you are worshiping with us in person in the building or whether you are tuning in and watching us on the internet, it's wonderful to have you here. It's been wonderful to have the building open again since Palm Sunday and to welcome folks back into the church. If you want to come to Mass next week, uh, you'll be able to sign up for next week's Mass starting either later today or tomorrow morning. And, uh, and, and do come if you feel comfortable. We completely understand if you're not ready to come back, we're going to continue to live stream as long as we need to. Uh, this week, we are online with our usual round of services, evening prayer uh, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 6. Friday, we have the Great Litany at noon. Saturday, uh, I think it's going to be morning prayer again, but it could be the Office of the Dead. We'll have to figure out what's most appropriate for this Easter tide, and that'll be at 10 o'clock on Saturday morning, and then we're back here live at 11 o'clock on Sunday morning, and it will be wonderful to see you. Those of you who are here, I look forward to greeting you personally outside on the steps. May Almighty God, who hath redeemed us and made us his children through the resurrection of his Son, our Lord, bestow upon you the riches of his blessing. Amen. May God, who through the water of baptism hath raised us from sin to newness of life, make ye holy and worthy to be united with Christ forever. May God, who hath brought us out of bondage to sin into true and lasting freedom in the Redeemer, bring you to your eternal inheritance. Amen. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be upon you this day and remain amongst you always. The Lord be with you. And with thy Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia.